We are here live at the American Airlines Arena with the crowd going crazy. We're on the verge of a clean sweep, a 3 nothing start to this year's NBA Finals. We'll see if they can pull it off. Good evening, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Look at the Heat. They're trailing three games to none. They're hoping for a miracle. They're going to lay it all on the line tonight as they look for their first win of this series. You know, Kevin, one of the things that a team wants to avoid at all costs is a sweep and being swept on their home floor. They don't want these guys to hoist the championship trophy in their building. Well, they'll be laying everything on the line to make sure that doesn't happen. Being down 3-0, and this is where you pull every last trick out of your bag. So with Nash sitting on the bench, this is Rick Adelman's lineup. We've got Durant. Kobe is out there with Pierce. And it's Memento Kaur. And it's LeBron at the three. And for Miami, they've got Nene. Steven Jackson is out there with Kevin Love. Then it's Jameer Nelson. And it's DeRozan in at the two. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Kevin, I briefly spoke with Coach Rick Adelman. He said he didn't have to say much to his team and that they knew what was at stake. He told me, when you've gone through what we have to get to this position, we all understand what it takes to close it out. We're one game away from a title, and we're not going to waste any time getting to it. They're hungry, Kevin. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Okur for three. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. Okur's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Now here's DeRosa, guarded by Kobe. Pulls it up. Again, the miss by Jackson. He had a defender draped all over. Not really the best shot there. Well, not the shot you hope for when it's well contested like that. You know, guys, most coaches prefer you drive the lane in transition, but this time the floor opened up for him out on the three-point line. And here's DeRosa, following the three-pointer by Kobe Bryant. Nelson against Pierce from 20 feet out. And that one's good. Nelson's got five. Miami on D. They trail by three. Thursday's loss was a disappointment. Pretty poor effort at both ends of the floor, guys. They got abused defensively. And at the offensive end, they just didn't have the firepower to make up for it. And I'm not sure what the reason was behind that, Steve. I mean, they didn't show a whole lot of heart on the defensive end. They didn't show any tenacity. And, uh... To me, it's inexplicable. Minnesota making some changes. Carmelo Anthony is checked in for Durant. And it's Nash in for Paul Pierce. Here is Love, averaging eight points a game. He's picked up by LeBron. Can't hit. Now the Timberwolves will take it the other way. And they're pushing it up. Anthony dishes to Kobe, stolen by Jackson. The Heat trail by six, taken away by Anthony. Excellent steal that time. Pesky defensive play on this part. Got that one up quick. Anthony's got his first two points of the night. On offense, here are the Heat. Eight-point game. Outside, Jackson passes it to Nene, working on Okura. Takes it into the teeth of the knee and converts the layup. You know, he always gets the ball in the right spot down there, Kevin, because he excels at doing his work early and establishing that position inside. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Heads up by preventing the easy lane. See, I like that. I mean, he saw it was a free layup, didn't want to give that up, so he fouled him the fourth free throw. Yusevich checked in for the heat. Fred comes in for Jamar DeRozan. That one misses. So it's Miami. Nelson outside. Tipped out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Here's Nelson. He's got five. Guarded now by Nash. From past the arc, Jackson misses. Here's Minnesota. They're on a 16-7 run. Up with it. And that one's good by LeBron. LeBron's now got his third basket of the night. 
And the Heat call time here. You got to keep everybody on the same page. They need to get their heads together. That's the goal. Darko Milicic, he's checked in for Minnesota. Allen comes in for Kobe. Here's Nelson, averaging six points per contest. Anthony against Lawrence. Six on the shot clock. Pulls up on the wing. Gets it to go. Love's got his second basket of the night. Timberwolves leading by seven. From deep LeBron. And another three for Minnesota. And the long ball really falling for them early. And they're riding some really hot shooting. I mean, they're running ahead right now in this one. Now, here is Nelson. Defended by Nash. Nelson against Nash. Shoots from the line. Again, the Heat good for two. Here's Minnesota. They're leading by eight. Let's it go from the wing. Anthony's shot is off. The Heat trail by eight. And here's Jackson. Looking for his first bucket of the game. Jumps up. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. He had a man in the paint. He found him with a nice assist. Allen passes to LeBron. Nelson with the steal. They've got numbers. Now Anthony defending. Red outside. The offensive rebound. For three. Jackson misses. You got a narrow edge here in rebounding early on. You wonder how much that'll play going forward. Well, I like the way they've set the tone. You know, they're going to have to continue to work at it, but rebounds will be key in this game. No question about it. Red. Rebound, Minnesota. Tell you what, the defender made a nice recovery there. It looked like he was beaten, but he still managed to challenge the shot. Nash kicks to LeBron. And LeBron throws it down hard! And our spike slam can gives us another look. Pass to Love, covered by Anthony. Pulls up. Kevin Love again. Love's got eight. Both sides really coming out of the gate firing here. Guys, they look like they were raring to go in this one. A lot of offense early on. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Timberwolves lead by. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. So with LeBron on the bench, this is Rick Adelman's lineup. Durant is out there with Anthony, then it's Nash, then there's Kobe, and it's Okul in at the five spot. Now, here is Nelson. He feeds it to DeRozan. Six to shoot. Nelson is whistled for the loose ball foul. That is his first foul of the game. Well, you like the effort, but you got to be smarter there. You can't climb over anybody's back to try to get the ball. Yeah, if I was coaching him, I said, I like your effort, but you're hurting us, son. Be smart out there. Goes up on the wing. Kobe gets the bucket. Kobe's got the first basket of the second quarter for the Timberwolves. Now, here's Aminu. He's guarded closely. Backing him down is Johnson. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And that one falls for Johnson. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. And here's Kobe for three. There it is, it's Nash picking up the assist. Nash has got his third assist on the night. Nash against Nelson. DeRozan with it. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Aminu dishes to Johnson. To the middle. Aminu with the bucket. Kevin, nice high percentage look right there. Timberwolves leading by six. Aminu grabs the miss. Nelson outside. 
Charity swipe shot, and that is good. Nelson's got nine. Boy, this is scary. You get a score rolling like this, you're in some trouble. Yeah, you can't leave a guy like that on an island. I mean, you got to bring some help. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout, and the Heat with some changes. Love comes in for Johnson, and it's Jackson in for Jameer Nelson. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. LeBron comes in for Carmelo Anthony. Now here's Kobe, 11 points in the game. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Fast break, here they come. Got a piece of it. Just a lapse in focus there because that looked to be a pretty easy pass to make. Here's Nash, right now averaging seven points a game. Lays out. For three, Kobe, offensive rebound, and LeBron throws it down. LeBron's now got 14 points for the game. The Heat trail by six. Here's Nene. Outside Jackson. Nash is whistled for reaching in. That's his first foul. Here's DeRozan. Looking for his first bucket of the game. And the shot is good. Great execution coming off that inbounds play. Out of bounds. And they retain possession. Here's LeBron. 14 points for him. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. While we've got a sec, let's check out the Sprite Slam Cam. There isn't anybody in the building that didn't appreciate that throwdown. Well, Steve, that's as fancy a finish as you could possibly get. A serious degree of difficulty on that one. They set the pick. Kobe with the steal. Pushing it up. For the finish. Rips down the breakaway slam. And that steal really triggered the fast break. Nice play. Hey, I'm, you're right. And the break itself may have been even better. Timeout called the Heat. A different look for Miami. Johnson, he's checked in for Lark. Jackson comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. And Marcus Banks subbed in for Jackson. And then for Minnesota, Kevin Durant's checked in for Haslam. Anthony comes in for LeBron. And Paul Pierce is subbed in for Steve Nash. By himself, and the jam by Kevin Durant. Always some entertainment value when you go with the windmill jam. Yeah, rim shaker and Steve a wrist breaker. <laughs> Outrageous, <laughs> man. Here's Banks. Pierce covering. Banks passes to Jackson. Uncovered. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Okur's got three rebounds now in this one. The shot by Anthony, no good. The Heat trail by 10. Now here's Jackson. Good work defensively by Kobe. I like the work there, contesting that shot that looked like it was going to be easy, but they forced a miss. You know what? He got it in close, but couldn't finish in traffic. Stolen by Durant. And the basket by Kobe. Kobe's got nine points in the quarter. Great work. I mean, you have to decide as a defense just how much damage are we going to allow him to do. Johnson jams it straight down. Boy, he really muscled his way to that rebound, guys, didn't he? He sure did, and then hammered it right back in there. Now, that's the importance of offensive rebounds. What could have been a failed possession turned into two points. This team just looking to run at every opportunity. Circles around them is what they're doing. I mean, pushing the tempo and really enjoying an advantage there. Pierce gets the reach-in call. That is his first foul of the game. A different look for Miami. Kevin Love's checked in for Johnson. And Jameer Nelson is subbed in for Marcus Banks. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Allen comes in for Kobe. Now, here is Nelson. He's got nine. Nene gets to DeRozan. Second shot opportunity. He goes up again. Can't get it to go. And Minnesota the other way now. 
Now Haslam. It's a look. DeRozan with the rebound. DeRozan's got three rebounds so far in the game. Jackson kicks to DeRozan. Back to Jackson. Working it around now. That's just a sloppy pass. A lack of focus there. Durant just inside the line. A quick shot there, and it's off target. The Heat trail by 13. Pierce with the steal. It's one-on-one -on -one to the inside. And stolen by Love. Even numbers. Shoots from 12. And Nene with the stop. Nene's got his second bucket of the night. Minnesota calls timeout. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Memo Okur is checked in for Durant. LeBron comes in for Carmelo Anthony. Kobe's checked in for Ray Allen. And it's Nash in for Paul Pierce. Haslam, that's good. Finding the open man every trip down the floor. Certainly seems like he's doing that, Steve. I mean, it's been a great passing day for him. There's the pick. That's tipped. Kobe with the steal. Boy, a tough quarter. They've allowed eight. Oh! Yes, indeedy. Boy, I love that one. That's not just any plain dunk. That has some panache to it. That's an energizer, guys. That is an energizer. That is, and that will lift the whole team up. Love is guarded by Haslam. They rule this one. Goaltender. Help the shot. Nine seconds left in the first half of the game. And here's Kobe for three. And again, Minnesota with the triple. He's been putting on a shooting clinic this quarter. A dominating first half of basketball. And so far, hasn't been close. Well, how about Kobe in this one? He has 20 points, and he's drained four three-pointers here as well. With more to come, maybe. The way his shot looks tonight, looks like he's in for a big night. We'll be back momentarily. Welcome to Game 4 of the NBA Finals, basketball's biggest stage. Now let's get you to the HP Halftime Report. Terrific start for the Timberwolves. They're locked in and injured. Welcome back to Game 4 as we get ready to start things up again. Here's Jackson. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. DeRozan out there at Jameer Nelson. Then it's Steven Jackson. Then there's Kevin Love. Then it's Nene in at the center. Boy, they are really getting chewed up inside here. I mean, that's eight of the last ten points they've given up inside in the paint. Yeah, and the paint should be sacred ground for a defense. I mean, you can't let anybody just trot in there and get an easy bucket. A little too much body on that one, and that's going to be a block. Always a hard thing to judge, but I agree with you, Steve. Clearly a block. Look at the turnover situation, guys, and it's not been that bad. Just a handful, and when you take care of the ball like that, that can help you build the lead. Now here's DeRozan, covered by LeBron. Here's Jackson. On the clock. And it's sent back by Kobe. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Minnesota ball. Timberwolves leading by 14. Here's LeBron. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. Durant's got his fourth assist in this one. Nelson against Pierce. Pierce against Nelson. Pierce covering. Nelson dishes to Jackson. Nene. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Six points for Nene. Durant for three. DeRozan with the rebound. DeRozan's got four rebounds in this game. Nelson the pass to Jackson. Here's DeRozan. Durant with some nice D. 
Great close out there, forcing the Aaron shot. Well, he made it a tough shot again. He didn't give up on it, and he got a hand up. Not a bad look, though. He liked his chances to make that one. He sure do, but he can't hit them all. The three from LeBron. LeBron with another miss. Nelson against Kobe. From 18 feet away, they get it back. Love can't hit from in close. Timberwolves leading by 14. Durant for three. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Great offensive performance they're putting on. You see the benefit of knocking down baskets consecutively because it leads to the confidence growing and growing, doesn't it, Steve? It sure does, and now it's to the point where they just feel unstoppable. DeRozan working against Kobe. And here's DeRozan. Right now averaging seven points a game. Missed inside. He can't find anything out there. And his misses are really hurting this team. A shot's good from LeBron. Well, with the defense recovering into the lane, you've got a wide open shooter at the three-point line. And the Heat call time here. Johnson, he's checked in for the Heat. Red comes in for DeMar DeRozan. The Timberwolves also changing it up. Carmelo Anthony is checked in for Durant. And it's Nash in for Paul Pierce. Here's Nelson. 13 points in the game. Jackson with it. Taken away by Anthony. You know, with that one, he's getting up there in turnovers. I mean, four and all now. He's got to be better with the ball to get his team back into it. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's going to be on Kobe Bryant. Nelson having a go. 13 points and one steal. Not missing much. In fact, hitting just about everything he's taken. Can he keep this up? Wow. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Nash looking for his first bucket of the game. And here's Anthony from the arc. Red kicks to Nelson. Guarded now by Nash. Nash against Nelson. And it's rejected. Timberwolves leading by 13. The three from LeBron. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Even numbers. Takes it up. And it's Red that time on the assist by Nelson. Red's got his first points of the game. Minnesota calls timeout. And the Timberwolves with possession. At one point, they led by 16. And that one's good by LeBron. Tell you what, whether there's an opening or not, this guy's going to attack the rim regardless. Nelson against Nash. Nash is tagged with the reach. That's foul number two for him. Here is Nelson. He's got 15. Love kicks to Jackson. Shoots the three. Gets it to go. Jackson's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Boy, they've done a nice job here in the second half, making the defense pay from outside. Anytime you can shoot the three ball the way they are in this half, you are never that far out of the game. You always have life. And some changes here for the Heat. Mane, he's checked in for Luff. Gian Lean comes in for Johnson. And it's Aminu in for Steven Jackson. Free throw good, LeBron. An excellent game we've seen from LeBron. He's got 26 points, and the three ball's been there for him, too. He's hit two from out there. Uh, you know the three-pointer gives any player an added dimension to his game that will almost always lead to more responsibility at the offensive end. And unable to corral the miss, and it goes out of play. Timberwolves leading by 13. Al Farouk Camino covering. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Not his forte. I don't really like that shot, and you can tell the defense is just asking him to take it. That free throw, no good. Two. 
so he comes up empty, missing both. And here comes LeBron. He's got 26. Allen for three. They get the rebound. Nash outside. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Nash has got his first three points of the game. Tell you what, with the three-pointers flowing, this defense is really struggling right now. Yeah, it's a big differential in points off of threes, and uh, they've got to do a better job of closing out defensively. That's good. Yeah, we're now starting to see them get some high-percentage shots in the paint. Yeah, that's five of their last six buckets inside the lane, so they're getting really high-percentage looks down there. Inside. Takes it right up. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Yeah, plenty of contact there. Easy call. Steve, when you miss a shot like that, you know he got hit on the way up. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. I like the way they're putting their bodies on the line this half and getting themselves to the free throw line. Well, coaches love that. I mean, when you're down, you get to the line. Not only do you get free free throws, but you stop the clock and you get your defense set up. LeBron dishes to Melo. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Anthony's got five now. I'll tell you what, three-point shooting, a huge factor for them offensively. Yeah, defensively, you've got to make an adjustment. I mean, you can't continue to collapse inside and give these guys quality looks. Some good ball movement here. Red outside, scooped up, and he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Well, those are like three points. I mean, great effort. Stay with the play. Continue to fight. And no problem at the line here for the three-point play. Just four seconds left in the third. For three, Kobe. Oh, he put it down! In a count. What a shot that was good. at the buzzer! Well, he just throws up a prayer and it gets answered. And those kind of shots are such a big lift for any team going into a break. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Well, why eat at the drive-thru when you can sit down at the buffet and have all you can eat, Clark? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> well, I know you've been listening, partner. I like that. Um, that's exactly what you need to do. Take advantage of what's available. Timberwolves ahead, up by 15. And now let's send it to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our spike spark of the game. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. It's the Timberwolves with the spark of the game with that push we saw. It's been defense, defense, and more defense all game as they keep adding to their lead. This kind of defensive pressure is exactly what they've been looking for, and it's worked wonders so far. Thanks, Doris. Clark, it was a scoring run that proved extremely important. Yeah, Kevin, you know what? I think that's exactly when they grabbed this one by the throat, really seized control of it. And you could see their energy just building as the game went on, and uh, by the end of that run, they really took, uh, took control of everything. So with Anthony sitting on the bench, this is Rick Adelman's lineup. LeBron James is out there with Durant. Then there's Kobe. Then it's Romero Core. And it's Pierce in at the point. Outside Jackson. And the layup for well, They haven't been getting lit up from outside here. All the points they're giving up are from in close. They've got to offer more resistance. Now, defense has to get better, Clark. They've got a body up, bump somebody, get physical, force the action back out to the corner. And the official right on top of that one. Yeah, I agree with you there, Steve. He didn't hesitate to make that call. And now he'll get his chance at the line. Second free throw, no good. Here's DeRozan. Pierce with the steal. Oh, and the jam by the block. Aggressive transition game leads to the easy hoop. Yeah, I'd love to see these guys just trampolining to the hoop. That was definitely worth a second look with our great Sprite Slam Camp. Pierce against Jackson. Now Pierce defending. Jackson against Pierce. Just four to shoot. And here's Love from the arc. Nice rebound in traffic, and that's his job. LeBron shot is off. The Heat trail by 21. 
Straight up. And the layup's good off the glass. Jackson's got four points this quarter. And I like that move to the hoop. You use your speed, go around the bigger defender. No good from Durant. On offense, here are the Heat. Trailing by 19. Outside Jackson. Dishes it to Love. And the Heat got another bucket right there. Three straight buckets in the paint. They're making it look effortless. Well, speaking of effortless, we'd like to see a little more out of the defense. Huh? How about trying, guys? Now, here's Aminu. Tight defense on him. And there's the three-second violation. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, and you know also, Steve, it'll be interesting to see if they get that focus back. And the Heat with some changes. E.G. and Lee, and he's checked in for Nene. Jackson comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. And Jameer Nelson is subbed in for Jackson. And here comes Nelson. It's stolen by Allen. Now here is Haslam. Nelson with the steal. And sometimes when you have a big lead like this, you get a little lazy, maybe a little sloppy offensively. And stolen by Love. Here's the break. Here's Jackson. Miami no good on that time either. I think he caught the defense off balance there. But I think he just sort of lost the touch on the release, kind of short on it. The Heat trail by 17. Nelson outside. He's picked up by Heinrich. Rocket six from the strike. Gets it to go. Well, nice to see one go finally. It's been a tough game for him here offensively. Goes up at the strike, and he hits the jump shot. And the Timberwolves lead by 17. Beautiful pass there. And the Heat call time here. I think Coach saw a couple of things he wanted to correct. You've got to make sure everyone's following the game plan. Michael Reds checked in for Gian Lian. Minnesota making some changes. Here is Nelson. Love outside. Red a screen on Okur. Love the pass to Red. A second chance effort. Rebound Minnesota. Kobe's got three rebounds so far in the game. Deflected. Nelson with the steal. Well, it's too bad after such an efficient first half. He's starting to turn the ball over here in the second. Jackson. And again, it's the Heat missing. Timberwolves leading by 17. Fires from deep. Miami grabs the miss. Love's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And DeRozan kicks to Nelson. Kicks to Love. Working on Okur. Here's Red. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Love the finish there. Not much defense, though. Here's LeBron. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. And that should do it. This is an insurmountable lead. Yep, there's too little time left. Too big a deficit to overcome. This one's over. Nelson, Pierce covering. From about 16, Kevin Durant with the rebound. Durant's got three rebounds now in this one. Launches a three. And the rebound goes to Jackson. The Heat trail by 17. Pierce gets called for the reach. That'll be his second foul of the game. Here's Jackson. Pierce against Nelson. Beyond the arc. Well, he got one to go in the first. But he hasn't been able to connect from three-point land here in this half. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Well, they've looked good here tonight, and now they are coasting to the finish line. Steve, just a matter of time right now. Outside Jackson. From deep. The long distance three is built. That's a tougher shot than you hope for off a fast break. But you can't argue with the result. Durant for three. Cannot hit. Some solid defense there from Jackson. I don't know, Clark. This looks over now. 
Yeah, I agree with you. This is all but over. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Whole new look on the floor for Minnesota. Here is Love. Long range from the inbound. No good. Now Heinrich, back to Allen. Here's Rittenauer. Misses the shot. And they've done it, Purdue NBA champions. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the uninhibited joy, I mean, the exhilaration that comes with winning it all. And Clark, these home fans, a celebration they can only witness in frustration and disappointment, Steve. It is some kind of feeling, certainly. Yeah, it is. For, th for these fans, I mean, uh, to come so close, uh, almost getting there with their team, and all of a sudden to have to watch the opponent celebrate on their floor, a bitter pill to swallow for sure. We now turn our attention to the middle of the floor, to the presentation of the Larry O'Brien Trophy with the NBA Commissioner, David Stern. Thank you to two extraordinary NBA teams who became Eastern and Western Conference champions through the intensity of extraordinary effort and passion. Only one team, though, has swept the finals in such confident fashion and will be the NBA Finals champion. But tonight, one team and only one team could realize its goal of winning the NBA championship. Congratulations to the players, the coaches, and the fans of the 2012 NBA champions, the Minnesota Timberwolves. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together enjoying Clark this NBA championship moment. Well, Kevin, this has been a special postseason, and it's awesome to be here to witness what happened tonight. Steve? Yeah, guys, this is what it's all about. All the work you put in, uh, not only during the offseason and during the season, but throughout your life. Uh, when you're a kid growing up and practicing on your, on your driveway or on your schoolyard, this is the culmination of all those efforts. So for these players and this team, uh, one of the great moments in their life and their career that they'll ever experience. A tremendous season and a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, Doris Burke, and the rest of our terrific 2K crew, good night, everyone, and thanks for watching.